Hi. Welcome to the Splendor video tutorial entitled Splitting, Joining, and Expanding Editor Windows. As we have seen in the Blender Default Scene video tutorial, it's possible to expand a Blender editor window by moving your cursor to the edge of the window until you see a double arrow and then left-click and drag the window open. This can be done either horizontally or vertically. It's also possible to split an editor window into multiple editor windows. To split an editor window, place your cursor in the upper right-hand corner of the editor window. There is a splitter widget there that looks like a ridged thumb grip. When your cursor turns into a cross, left-click and drag your cursor horizontally to create a vertical split. You can also create a horizontal split by placing your cursor in the splitter widget until a cross appears and then left-click and drag vertically to create a horizontal split. Note that each of these editor windows has its own header menu and associated tool panel. Now it's possible to change any of these editor windows to a different type by clicking on the Type button located in the far left of the window header menu line. For instance, I will change this window to a text editor window. Now you can join any two vertical windows that have the same width or any two horizontal windows that have the same height. To do this, place your cursor on one of the splitter widgets in the upper right corner of the window and left click and drag the cursor into the other window. Now before releasing your left mouse button, you'll see a large grayed out arrow that indicates which direction the change should be made. With the left mouse button still pressed, you can move your cursor from one window to the other to decide which should become the joined window. Uh, for instance, here I will make a joined window of the text editor window. Here I will join two vertical windows into one 3D window. Notice that each panel located inside of the editor window also contains a thumb grip splitter widget. In the case of a panel, now not an editor window, you can use this widget to rearrange the placement of the panels within the editor window. For instance, if you want the layers panel in the properties editor window to be located above the render panel, I can place my cursor on the splitter widget for the layers panel and simply click and drag the layers panel above the render panel. Panels, however, cannot be moved from one editor window to another editor window. It's also possible to make any Blender editor window full screen. This is quite useful, especially when modeling. Now, to make a particular editor window full screen, first make sure that you have clicked in the window to give the cursor focus and then hold down your control key and press the up arrow key. Here I will make the 3D editor viewport window a full screen. To restore the display to whatever was present before you made it full screen, press control down arrow key. Thus, it's easy to go back and forth between full screen and regular screen with any editor window. Uh, here I'll do the same thing with the outliner editor window. Remember these keyboard shortcuts because being able to clearly see your 3D model in full screen will greatly enhance your modeling efforts.